Hi, welcome back to Thomcraft Quick. This is John. Today we'll be working on discovering Goomancy. So to do that, we're going to need an observation in Goomancy, an observation fundamentals, and to study an animated construct. So that means we need to scan a golem, either a snow golem or an iron golem. I've got some snow and a pumpkin, so let's go make a snow golem, and then we'll scan him. There we go. So now I have studied an animated construct. I should be able to complete this. There we go. So now we have unlocked the Golemancy tab on the Thalmanomicon. So let's look into basic Golemancy. Nothing really here, but we have two research paths open to us. The Brain in the Jar and the Clockwork Mines. Let's go ahead into the Clockwork Mines. To complete this, we need an observation in Golemancy. We need Cognitio and Victus to be discovered, which you should have by now. But now we're going to need two theories, one in Artifice and one in Gullomancy. If you don't like doing research, there are a couple of alternatives. Um, when you break amber blocks out in the world, you might get some of these preserved curiosities. If you use them, you will get theories and observations automatically. They're random for what you get, but you might get lucky. Let's see what we have in our page right now. All right, so I only have one theory in fundamentals. Let's see if we get lucky and get an extra one. So we got two things in alchemy. We got an alchemy and an eldritch. We got an alchemy, an alchemy, and an arcade infusion, and an oromancy. I think none of those were what I wanted, but eh, you get what you get. So let's see where we're at. So you can get more artifice with the arcane workbench. Okay. A minecart or an activator rail. Wow, that, that both sounds complicated. Let me go figure out how to make one of those. Okay, I decided the activated rail was easier, so we'll go ahead and do that. 14 artifice. And let's see here. We can get artifice with our celestial notes, so that's cool. But we can, let's see, we gain 25 to 50. You know what? That's a good deal. Western, quadrant, and lunar new. Western, quadrant, and lunar new. There we are. It is going to destroy them, though, so we'll have to get more of those. All right. Waxing Gibbous and Southern Quadrant. Okay, sure. Should have those. Waxing Gibbous. And what was it, Third Quarter? No, Southern Quadrant. Okay, there we go. So, we can calibrate, we can gain 25 in Gullomancy. We're going to need one of those. Might as well go ahead and do that, too. Okay, if we had an empty map, we'd get some more artifice. Let's go ahead and do that. Empty map should be a compass and some paper, I think. Alright, so there's my map. And what do we have now? We can do scripting. That's good for Gullomancy. And now we have to either get another activator rail... Or we can gain an arrow and a file of Fabrico. We might have that. Fabrico is crafting. Yeah, we can get that. Go grab a file. All right, there we go. Arrow and Fabrico. We can do awareness to get us Oromancy or do universal theory. Hmm. Let's see what universal theory does. Yeah, we're getting way lower our progress on, on Artifice to balance these out. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Okay, gas tier. That's not happening. Okay, Vacuos and Mortus. Got to have that. Mortus and Vacuos. And there we go. So we got an Artifice, I think. Oh, there's one. Now we have to get Goldmancy. So, 
Uh, we don't have anything yet that can help us focus on that, so it's going to be random right now, but we'll get there. Okay, experimentation. Let's try that. Universal or celestial waxing and new, huh? Do we have waxing and new? I guess not. Okay, I'll do universal theory then. Alright, we can do measure. We can do synergy. That's a good one because it gives you golemancy at the cost of your other ones. Okay, we can get 25 between all of them. That's good. Scripting will get us golemancy. That's what we want. Let's see. Alchemy with Machina and Orum. Not sure I have any Orum crystals. I don't see any. All right. Then we'll do Calibrate. Synergy again. Perfect. And there we go. A Golemancy theory. Okay. So now we can complete the Clockwork Mines. Okay. This opens up all kinds of things. We're going to get... We're going to get Clockwork Mines, the Golem Press. We're going to open up Control Seals and a couple of uh, basic seals. So let's start working on those. So the Golem Press is going to need quite a few things. I'm going to move these things because they're kind of in my way. So the Golem Press is laid out like this. We need an anvil, a stone table, a piston, and a cauldron. And it must be laid out in that order in the 2x2 two two pattern. And you also put some iron bars on top of the piston. So let's go ahead and make one of those. Anvil, table, piston, cauldron. Anvil, table, piston, cauldron. All right. Anvil, table, piston, cauldron, bars. And now take your Salus Mundus and toss it on the table. There we go, a golem press. Now you do need to feed it Machina Essentia to work. So let's go ahead and put this jar down here. I've got some Machina Essentia. The jars, by the way, hold 250. That's 10 or 25 files. We'll give it a label, although I don't really think it needs it. And then the Essentia tube. Uh, it can basically only go in here, so you have to have this spot open. I think it can go in the back too, but uh, one of those two spots where it has to go. So there we go, the Golem Press. And by the way, I put it there because this will also help us focus on Golemancy theories in the future. Okay, so that takes care of the Golem Press. And that takes care of basic Golemancy. When we come back next time, we'll make a Golem and we'll see what they can do. Thanks for watching. See you then.